art students. Brian Proctor, the art teacher, is back in the classroom and ready for another lesson to be taught. So today's lesson is on doing abs. I found a quick and easy way to show you guys how to do abs. So no more fat and flabby superheroes for you guys. The abs are going to be tight, tight. So yeah, sit back, get your pencils and papers out, and let's get to drawing some abs. Let's go and say hello to Darth back there. It's my man, he always looking over me because the force is with me. All right, let's go right over here to the drawing table and get to going. All right, I'm back with another one and class is about to start. Now everybody wants to draw those killer abs for their hero. And what good is a hero without those killer abs? So today I'm gonna to show you an easy way to draw the abs. Let's get going. All right, you can't draw your abs unless you have your torso. So torso is easy and I always get on people about shapes. Uh oh, my camera is not on focus lock. So let me stop right now and lock that or else it's gonna be jumping up and down like that. All right, okay, now let's start again. First of all, you cannot have abs without a torso. So torso is very simple. It's just an oval. That's it. I mean, everybody can draw an oval. If you can draw a circle, then most times you can draw an oval because your crooked circle would become an oval. You have to have your center line, center line. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do side by side. So let me do this because it was a really good idea. Because not everybody's going to draw straight. So let me do this one here, one here, and maybe one here, just to help out. So you have your ovals. You all know how to do your ovals. So we're going to have one guy turn to the side here, this one straight, and this one to the opposite side, which is just that on the opposite side. But some people have a hard time seeing that. So we have that. You have your inner rib cage or for some people if you can't do the u do more of a diamond or a triangle right here not way up not down low but not too high and the position will change once you do that like that so from this end you want to come down from this end you want to it depends if you do something like this but you want to go like halfway because you want to think about how thick this is going to be the person's waist how thick that, that waist is going to be. So you judge that because you can always change it. It's all going to change in the wash anyway. From here, here, and here. And remember, you could have brought it here, but you'd have to bring that in or you could bring it out. Depends on how thick you want your character. And then again, straight down here. And I would say about right here. Now let's chop this off right there. So if this was a belt, the belt would go right there. Okay, so you got a bunch of houses turned to the side, basically. Your um, direction line goes down. Now, as I said, your belt would go right here, and below that would be your hips or your waist. And that definitely is the upside down house. Bring that down a little bit more and out. Now, you don't want too much space between this and this because it'll make your character look long. And as I said, you can always adjust it later. Straight down, down a little bit more, and down some, like that. So you have those three. Now, understand that the body is, the body is round or oval shape, just like this thing. If I drew stripes around here, it's gonna be round. So what we're focusing on is from this point to about right here, and it is round. Let me get an, an example, a, a little example tool to show you guys. All right, this is an egg. It's not hard bowl, so if I drop it, it's gonna break, I'm gonna be embarrassed, and this video is gonna go straight to fail videos. Just got it out the fridge. It's a little wet, moist, so hopefully I can write on it. So, center line, this is gonna represent your torso, center line. Center line, straight down. Now, that's this. Now, if I turned it this way, that would be that. If I turned it this way, that would be that. So you understand that part. Now, this, round, this egg is also round. Just like this, but this is on a flat surface, so it's flat, but you have to imagine it being round. 
So let's just say if I did this, if it's going to write like that. As I said, this egg is fresh out of the refrigerator, so it's kind of like the condensation all wet. And then we have, if I turn it up a little bit, we have that. We turn it this way, you have that. And I'm trying to keep this in focus in camera range. And then we have that. And one thing I say to people, if you can get something with a reference for reference material, get it. Buy you a, a cheap um, GI Joe or something that's got good anatomy and it can help you over the hard parts. So my thing is this egg is round or oval shaped, it's round. So you have to look at this as being round as well. Now let me put this back before I drop this thing and then end up with a new video. All right, so because we're drawing on flat surface, people tend to look at the body as flat and then they draw their lines and their lines are flat. But let's focus on this part right here, this part that's right under this, the, um, that oval, which is, this would be your waist. And if you follow me, I call that a tuna can because it is shaped it's shaped just like this, a tuna can or a hockey puck. If you don't eat tuna, it's a hockey puck, okay? That's all this shape is. Once you master your shapes and you can learn to draw them in any direction or direction, then it becomes very simple to draw the body. Um, yeah, okay, so let me make this bigger because this is the part that we're going to focus on. This is going to be your ab right here. Now... Let's say we take this and we go up. We go up like this. This is the part of the rib cage, like that. This is your direction line. Now, if you focus on that little can being round, just like that, then half your battle is already won. So you have this, let me get a thicker, thicker brush. And usually right here from this point, this is just me. I'll do like an, a little M, curve it around like that. I won't go any further than that. We'll, we'll get into that more. But if you do this, half your battle is one because you have your center line right here. And then you have your curved, remember it's curved line right there. And then you basically have your abs. Now, the detail part about this, or the part about this that a lot of people forget about, is this line here does not come straight down. This line comes in like this. It comes all the way down and kind of forms the crotch because you have your love handles and right here. And I remember one guy asked for help about his uh, character drawing. And he was really good, but he always, I guess he looked at the way I did these. So his love handles were like way fat like that. And I told him, don't make the love handles so fat. And I guess he couldn't take the criticism and it's not criticism, it's help. And I've never heard from him again. So whether he got mad or whether he just took my advice and master drawing, you know, I tried to help him or I did give him some advice. So you have that, your love handles come down like this and then your legs start here. So this is a, this is a, um, I don't want to say integral part, but maybe I can say it. So it comes down in like that. And then with this, as I said, you have your love handle and it is actually a muscle. So coming up halfway like that, it adds to that, that, um, powerful ab look. Now around this, we have this right here. Let this be your first set of abs where this circle comes around. Let that be your first set right here, keeping it curved. Now, if the person is standing straight, straight up at you right off the bat, you don't want to have it curved too much. You don't want to have it curved down, like, like sloping down, like it's got a fat belly, but you do want to have a little bit of curve to it. You don't want to have it straight across like this. Always put a curve because it is a circle regardless. So that, so your second set is going to come under here with a little curve and your third set is going to come like that. Now, if that's too high, you can always bring that down a little bit. 
That's why I said rough sketch first. Always do your rough sketch. Don't try to ink or do detail until you have it set. So right here. Now, one thing about the, the abs, it comes in. Each one of them comes in because it, it's like, how can I say this? I always use a tuna can. You have your center line. Your abs come in like that and out. And in like that and out. So you're going to have that. Not only are you going to have, the, you going to have this curve, you're going to have this curve that comes in like that. Because it is a muscle, four square kind of, or six, your six pack like that. But if you have this curve going up, then half the battle is, is won. Like that. Because on the side, on your sides, as I said, you're going to have your love handle that comes up. And I believe that comes up into the second one. The second set, it curves out like that. Now, I don't go crazy. Like I said, if I do it, I'll just do a little line like this. I don't take it all the way out and make it because you don't want the character to have a fat waist. You just... Just it just adds to that sucking in of the um, the, the stomach muscle. So let's say let's drop this a little bit, and this is gonna be my first curve that comes up, down, comes up, curve in and up. And already you see that it looks good. You have your center line. Now when I do abs because it curves up. I'll have a diamond like this under each set because it, it will do that when it's when it's tight like that. That also gives it that appearance that it is being sucked in or it's just it's just tight. And then that one here. Now remember, it comes in, they go in like that. They don't, they don't go straight down, they come in like that. So on this side, you're gonna have that line. There is like an indentation that comes in. I don't wanna do it in black. So your waist is gonna be like this and come in like that. So this is gonna come around and in. It's gonna have a shape like that that comes around and in. I'll just do it in black. It comes around and in. And because it dips in, you're gonna have, this is where the shadow is gonna catch. Right here, you're gonna have that line. Not too thick of a line, but you're gonna have that line. And even right in here, you can add that half a triangle like that to give it that, it's more cut look, usually underneath the bottom one. And the same thing here, you're going to have that, that little line there. So if I want to two for six here, if I did that, and then your ribs come from under there, your waist is going to come in and just out a little bit before it, you have that love handle. And then your hips are going to go there. So it's going to be like this. And like that and out so you're seeing that that um, those abs so let me fill these out and do this like I say you can bring this down if that's too if your first circle if this is your first circle from this this is too much which is this is the largest ab here this I think this is the smallest and this is the next size bring that just bring it down a little bit bring it down and remember bring it in like that and when you're doing it from the side, it's still going to come in and you're going to see just a little bit of side of your, your um, love handles on the side of it. So don't have it going straight down. Always bring it in. So this is going to be your first set, second set, third set, and then you're going to have that line that comes straight down. And of course, right off the bat, you can tell that this is, <clears throat> this is way too long. So it'll be like this. And once you have this, the love handles come down, and I believe, as I said, I think it's at the second set. It curves in, and you see some buttocks from the side, depending on how much side you're turned, and then your legs come up into that. 
So that would look like this. Remembering to keep your side. And then you have that right there. Coming down, here's your your obliques is what is the the, the, the actual name of it. Your obliques. And then here goes into your obliques, and then you have that. And then just above that, you have your chest, which is like that. Now, uh, sometimes you have this, I don't know if it's the, the bone is shaped like that. It's, it was a Jim Lee thing. He'd always put this extra piece here to give it that extra look for more muscular. And the same thing on the other side. Now, doing this, there's a thing, there's an exercise that bodybuilders use. It's called vacuums. And basically, you're sucking, you're, you're pulling your stomach in. You're not flexing your stomach. You're blowing your air out, and you're pulling your stomach in. And from the side, let's just, from the side... And this is something I started doing in drawing because I saw bodybuilders. And this is back in the day. The new bodybuilders don't usually do that nowadays. But instead of having this line come straight down, I'll bring it in more. I'll bring this line in. This first one comes in, and then the next one comes back out. And it kind of gives it more of a defined look. Like the guys really have good tight uh, abs. And it's only with that first set, and then the second set comes back out, and the third set comes back out too, and then you have your 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 side. So if I did that, it would look like this. And remember, when you do this, you're gonna have you're gonna have to have the love handle, so you're going to have your stomach come in. As I say, it's gonna come in, but it depends. You don't want your waist way out here, a fat waist that goes way out here. You don't want it too skinny. So you gotta have to feel where you want it to be just right. So if I'm doing this, if this is my, my lats, my love handles here, and then your, your, your buttocks comes here, and then your legs come into there, and here's your crotch. So you have to have enough room for your love handle. So your stomach's gonna come down here. This is gonna be the top of the ab, and it's gonna come down, and then in, and this is gonna be my love handle here, which goes down, and this is my leg. So this first one, I would have coming way in like this. Then the next one, I would bring it back out. And then the third one would be out again. So it looked like that. Remembering. Now, turning the body a lot, you won't see this much on this side, but it'll come out down here like that and then it, that goes into your your crotch and then your legs are right here your hip and then your legs connect into that because your legs come up in here this is your buttocks your legs come up in here and all like that and then so you have that and as i said you have that love handle right there and then where your ribs where that um that part comes in I'll have it come up just a little bit like that. And then some people do the little extra rib lines, which I try not to because to me it kind of makes it look hungry, but you can. They're really not connected to where it sinks in, but that's just a good guideline if you pull it out from where it sinks in at. It looks kind of cool, kind of. But if you have this line right here, this the love handle line, then you're good to go. I mean, you can put the next, another one there. You don't have to. But <clears throat> remembering that the body is round. So if, let me use this. If I'm doing the torso, the torso is up. This is, let's say, this is the chest. This is the chest right here. This is your ab right here coming down. So if I'm doing my tuna can like this, Center line or direction line, bring it around, bring it around. Then you can have your abs that way as well. So you bring it in, bring it in, up. Just following the lines. And then of course, as I said, you're gonna have that, that where the rib comes around, 
Then you're going to have your love handles, remembering that you're looking up at it. So just as long as you follow those lines that wrap around that can, you'll be good. And then bring your lines in. Like that, and then of course, like I said, the chest, you're, you're looking underneath the chest. The, the, the character could be floating above you, high above you, and there's a latch right here. And then you come down, and even that love handle would be coming in, and then you have the crotch down here, and then you have the, the hip, and then you have your waist, like that. And of course, this would be some shadow because you're looking, you're kind of like looking up at the guy. And then you have your light source, which if that is the light is from above, then you have down below here, making your diamonds, keeping those diamonds. And then of course, the black right here. And as I said, you can bring that up to under the chest and you just have that extra extra um extra ab muscle there so if i was going to do one that is bent so you have your, your um torso again and then your <clears throat> under here and let's just say i'm going to do the tune again a lot of times if i'm bending i'll just use a ball there's two things i'll use i'll use the ball or the tuna can if it's straight i'll use basically what i call the tuna can but then you, you have the ball so you have this your chest is here you're coming down, this is your under the ribs right here, and then this little ball, and then you just take that line around that ball. Same thing here. And then in between that, uh, the ball won't go all the way around, you have your waist. And your legs. So you have, and I've got so many lines here, let me see what I'm doing. Remembering, that's the hard part, is remembering it's round. You have this, and it's round. So you have this one. And remember, this one is gonna, the first one's going to be sucked in, and it's going to come from around that ball. That's going to be your first set. It's going to be sucked in. And then the other one's going to come out, like here, keeping it round. And the other one's going to come from here, keeping it round. So if I can ink this. And this is doing the vacuum, okay? This is having that one sucked in. And then that one goes down like that. And then you have your love handle. And then your hip, your leg comes into that, same thing. Here, and it's gonna be narrow here and come out wider here, like that. And then, and like I said, your chest is here. And if you want to, you can have that extra little piece here, like that. And that gives you that 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 bending over, he's bent over, kind of, because a lot of times your, your character is not going to be straight up and down all the time. But if you just do this, find your direction line, do that, and then do this, 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 instead of the ball, depends on which is easier for you to do. And then remember, you don't have too much between the hips. You don't have too much space between the hip and the um, crotch, the waist and the hip like that. So it's going to go in and come back out. Same thing with the bottom. You won't see the bottom. If I'm, if I'm going from the top to the bottom like that, you really won't see too much of the ab. So I don't think I'll draw it too much. Here's your chest. Here's your shoulder blade collarbone shoulder blade is your neck and here's your head bottom your chest going down don't bring it in too much just bring it in at an angle and again rounding it off like that and remembering it dips in like that Right there, and then you have your that and your love handles, and it goes down like that. 
So, did I just draw that upside down? Man, I'm good. So yeah, here's your chest. You know, shoulders, shoulder, shoulder, um, delts. Is that your delts? Yeah, your delts. And then, of course, you got some neck here. And then your head, shoulders. Yeah. So, 26 minute video. I think that covers it because I showed you this is the general part and I always like to go over stuff one more time to make sure you got it and to make sure I got it out. The main focus is on doing the roundness, the roundness of your body. Remember the body is, if you think of the whole body as a cylinder, work on your shapes like that, center line, your line that comes in like that. And you've already got the basic ab down. Seeing this part here, you see how that comes out? That's always gonna come out like that and then down. Same thing for this one, come out and down. And then you have your abs. You just, this part doesn't have to be so high. It could be low, depends on your character. It doesn't have to be that high up. But just as long as, no matter how you turn the body, whether it be looking up, looking down or whatever, as long as you remember that it is round. There's your abs. And that is so simple, so quick and so easy. And then of course your torso, you can't mess up with the torso. It's just how you're gonna put your line. How are you gonna put your line with your torso? Is it gonna be up this way? And my abs are gonna be this way. Just remember that line, there's your abs, simple. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this one because if you need me to do a little more um, into it, let me know. My camera is really screwing up because I dropped it earlier. I did an earlier video today and I dropped it. And this camera is just <sighs> more money, more money. So as I was saying, if you need me to do a little bit more detailing on these things to, because you haven't really got it let me know and I, later on I'll, I'll get down and i'll do some more stuff on the abs but for now this is going to be it a little quick short how to do abs so now your character can always be tight like that all right class is over go home okay no it's not hold on come back in here sit down sit back down sit back down class is not over yet I have a Facebook page. It's called Unfinished Comics. I forgot to tell you guys about that. My phone is not on focus, so let me move my hands. It is a Facebook page where comic book artists will be coming together, or they are, there are already some on there, and we discuss our, our books our, or our ideas and so forth, and you can get help, uh, advice, whatever, because there are, as I said, there's a lot of comic book artists on here. And... I am going to start critiquing your work. These are for you subscribers, so subscribe! I'm going to start critiquing your work online. I'm going to do videos and critique your work, basically show you, you know, what you need to do, what you need not to do. So if you want me to critique your work, then send your picture, not all your pictures, just one or so pictures, because I'm going to try to do maybe four or five different people's stuff on one video. Just send your picture to Unfinished Art, Unfinished, Unfinished Comics, Unfinished Art. Unfinished Comics and the address is here and I'll put it up and I'll show you um, what you need to work on or you know what you don't need to work on and just kind of help you because I've noticed a lot of people whatever your skill level is whether you're you know really low or, or high up people are having the same problem with the same things like some people can't do abs some people are couldn't do shoulders and you might be, you know, everything else might be great, but your shoulders, you can't quite get that. So I'm going to start doing that. And then if you're one of the people who have trouble with shoulders, you can see that, that you're having it and then it'll help you as well. So yeah, am I rambling? Yeah, so Unfinished Comics, join me there, upload, ask me questions, I'll be there. And the people that I started my first company with, uh, comic book company group, with their, they're there, so as I say, there's a lot of people there, and you can ask advice and show pictures, and not just ask me for that advice, ask them for advice, and they can contact you as well. So, one big comic group we're sharing. So, okay, now class is over. Go home.